Hello everyone, how you doing today? I'm back with another video and today's video we have a Dell laptop. This one is a Dell Vostro 14 3000 series laptop. The exact model is a 3490 model and in this video I'm gonna take you on on a step by step how to open it up and how to replace the battery for this model. This applies for any Dell Vostro 3000 series so it doesn't have to be exactly 3490 model. This applies for any 3000 series. All right, and the process is very easy. If your battery is not holding up any more charge and it is charging or is inflated and it's just blown up, this video is for you. I'll try to leave the links for the tools and the battery replacement if you want to purchase. And you can support the channel by using the links in my video description. I'll really appreciate it. All right, with that said, uh, the tools that you're gonna be needing is a screwdriver set. I'll recommend you guys to grab the iFixit screwdriver set. I'm not promoting them or I'm not getting paid for this as I generally love using these screwdriver sets. I've been going through many of them. I bought on AliExpress or many other places, but these bits are made out of S2 class steel and they have lasted me for a very long time. So I always keep my stuff really nice and clean. So it looks brand new still. So we're gonna be using a Phillips number one from here. You can get the pro set of this screwdriver set. The pro set, it will include you a tweezers, opening tool, this and that. But if you're on a budget like me, you can just grab yourself a, any guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is really suitable to opening covers, plastics or electronics. I really love this one and it's really snugly in your hand. It fits nice. All right, with all this set, now what we need to do is to flip over the laptop, make sure your power is off. We're gonna start removing all the screws on the bottom here. But this model is actually driving me nuts. I don't know why. I need you guys to let me know in the video comments if you have the same in combination. All the screws will come out. They're all the same size and height except this is screw, this one and this one. The three ones that are beside the RJ45 connector on this corner. And they have a C lock on them. That means the screw will not come out entirely. You just have to twist them. But the rest of the screws will come out with no issue. Like as this one, if I just rotate this one, it will come out nicely. But this one, you just have to rotate, rotate, rotate until you hit that click, then you want to stop. You want to do the same thing on this side. Click, click and stop because the screws will not come out no matter how much you pull on them because they have a C lock on them. It's not a bad thing, it's a good thing. I wish all of them had the C lock, but it's kind of weird. Only three of them has and the rest don't. So let me know if how's yours. All right, we're going to start removing the rest of the screws. Also, I realized that there is only one person of my viewers subscribed to my channel. If you guys find my content useful and you want to support the channel, uh, you can do it by clicking that like and subscribing. I really appreciate it and it will be a great support. Alright, now that we remove the screws that we could remove and loosen up the screws on this side, we are going to open up the laptop a little bit. We want to grab our opening tool and we're going to stick it between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. And we're going to twist it towards the outside in order we can lift up the palm rest. So we're gonna do that all in the front side. We're gonna do the same thing on the right side just until you get to the VGA port. And this side you wanna do it all the way to the back corner. Well, once you did that, now you wanna close down the laptop. You wanna put your hand on the hinge by the RJ45 side, but it's important that you do it on this side, not this side. And you want to lift up a little bit, uh, grab the front corner and bring it up, twist it around a little bit, wiggle it around, and once it's loose, shift it over towards the VGA side. So that way you can unhook this um, plastic right under the jack. Otherwise, you're just going to break this jack or lift it up or break this. So make sure you shift it over there. This is the bottom cover, and the C locks that I'm talking about are this. I don't know if you guys can see, these are like a C lock right 
by the every screws. I really like the C-Lux, that means the screws will not get loose or anything like that. But I only have on three screws, I don't know why. I have made an upgrade on a SSD hard drive, I made a video on that. In this video, the battery, we're gonna concentrate on the battery, which is right here. So, the battery is a 42 hour watt hour battery, 11.4 uh, volt. And the model for this battery should be somewhere over here. There it is, it says model YRDD6. So I will repeat, that's YRDD6. That's a 3500 milliamp hour battery. So I'll try to find the link for this one. To remove the battery, yeah, what you need to do is remove this screw, this screw right there, and this screw right there, and this screw right over here. And once you remove the screw, just go ahead and lift up the battery, bring it back. And the battery, I think this is, is not a connector, this is just being soldered. So you do have to disconnect it from this end. There's a tiny tape over, so remove the tape, pull it back. And now you're gonna see the hinge, the jack right there. So what you wanna do, you wanna put your fingers beside the white jack and pull them towards the battery. Just slide it back, just like that and the jack will get loose so that's your battery this is three cell uh, polymer batteries so let's say you got the new battery in okay as this one is a new one you want to grab the jack make sure you put it in the right in front of the connector and evenly push it towards the lap motherboard just evenly push it, don't go sideways. And then just put the tape right over. And the last thing would be to just align the battery in place by the screw holes. Make sure all these cables is nicely tucked in. And put the four screws for the battery to hold in place. And there's one more important step by putting the bottom cover, it's very important. All right, uh, also, if you keep asking me where is the BIOS battery, the BIOS battery is right over here. These are a CR2032 uh, batteries. You can get this one from anywhere. And this one keeps the BIOS configuration, everything in saved. So if you BIOS, and you wanna reset your BIOS, just remove this battery from here. All right, so grab the... Grab the bottom cover, make sure you scoop in the VGA side down first, so bring it in 45 degree angle. You scoop the VGA side right in there, and press down the corners, go in the front, just push down, make sure you hit those click, push the back side, click, and start tightening up this corner where they have a C-lock screws. And the last thing would be to just put down the rest of the screws all over the place. And this is how you upgrade your battery for your Dell Vostro 14 3000 series laptop. If you guys have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. And as always, I will try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.